Hey everyone, this guide is here to help you set up your very first dance pad controller. Whether you're looking to play on PC or console, this guide will help you get set up with ease and troubleshoot any issue that you might encounter. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe, and if you run into any issues or have questions about the setup, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help find a solution. So without further ado, let's talk about what you'll need. Yes. Now, for what you'll need to get started, a dance pad controller, Downloading a remapping software of your choice. The three that I'll be talking about are Joydeki, Antimicro, and Rewasdy. For console users, you'll need to purchase a Titan 1 device. This is optional for PC use. To start, you can directly plug the dance pad into your PC. From here, to get the game to recognize your inputs, you want to remap the dance pad buttons as keystrokes using a mapping software. The main one we'll focus on is Joydeki, which is what I recommend as it is simple and user-friendly while still being capable of doing most things you would need. Once you step on a button on the dance pad, this will send a signal to Joydeki, and the button will light up on the screen. From here, you can remount to any keystroke that you would like. This is not going to be a comprehensive guide on using Joydeki, but there are a lot of nice features that you can play around with. For example, you can double map a button in which a tap versus a hold will give a different output. You can assign a shift button to your dance pad to add layers to your dance pad as well. If you'd like a more complete guide on using Joydeki, please let me know in the comments and I can make a future video on that. If you're playing a game through Steam and your character constantly walks backwards or your camera spins, then your Steam's controller settings are conflicting with Joy to Key. To fix this issue within Steam, go to the game that you're trying to play, hit the cog on the right side, go to controller, make sure everything is enabled, click on controller configurator. From here, edit the layout and you want to remove the command on every button. To check that everything is correct, every button should be blank in the view layout like this. For certain games, particular buttons may still read in the layout even though they are disabled. This should still work properly in game though. Depending on the game, you may need to play even more with the settings. Here's the same process for Elden Ring showing how every button is blank in the view layout menu. And a big shout out to Ricky Shreds for coming up with this solution. There are a couple alternate programs you can use instead of Joy to Key. The second one I would recommend is Antimicro. I don't personally use this program because it doesn't read to buttons on the brand of controller I use. However, for certain people who have a compatible pad, this can be a good program since it has an intuitive user interface and is capable of more complex layering than Joydeki. For a more in-depth explanation, I will link a video made by iFlipsy. The other program is Rewasti. This has a very visual, informative GUI that can be more accessible for some users, allows for complex macros to be written and recorded, easy to understand layering system, as well as quick profile switching with adjustable settings. The downside is that for most dance pads, not all of the buttons would be red, which requires you to plug the dance pad into a Titan device to operate. Additionally, many of the more complex desirable functions are only available via the paid version of the program. If none of these programs offer the functionality you want, there is the option of using a console tuner's Titan 1. This is a device which looks similar to an ordinary USB stick, but is a powerful tool capable of transforming any input to a separate device's output, meaning that you can make any controller, in our case a dance pad, look like another controller. While this is a highly versatile tool, giving you full command over the controller's function, it is the most technical avenue as using the device requires knowledge of GPC scripting using the associated GTuner software. This is what I use for my Elden Ring Awe Remembrances Rune Level 1 and the required code, which had to be changed by hand several times over the course of the game. 
Every line is intentional and can quickly become overwhelming the more you try to change. While the Titan devices and subsequent G-Tuner programming are optional for PC, if you're planning a dance pad run on console, a G-Tuner will be required. For demonstration, I'll be using a PlayStation 5, but a similar process should work for other consoles. Here's an image showing the setup. You plug the dance pad directly into the PC. The Titan device is plugged into the PlayStation. The PlayStation controller is plugged into the Titan, and the cable included with the Titan jutting out from the side plugs into the PC. From here, you must download the MaxAIM DI plugin within GTuner. Go to Plugins, Plugin Manager, install MaxAIM DI. Once open, create a new layout. In Layout Options, choose PS4. Simply right-click the button you want to map a keystroke as you see fit. Then open Joyda Key, tap the buttons you want, and assign them to match what you put in MaxAIMDI. Here's an example from when I did Bloodborne on a dance pad. From there, you'll need to enter Capture Mode and everything should work. One caveat to using MaxAIMDI is that it freezes your monitor as it receives input. This means you'll need a minimum dual monitor setup in order to play the game and use the software at the same time. And with that, you should be all ready to start your very first dance pad journey. I hope this guide was helpful, and if you end up using the controller for any games, I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy dancing.